hate it. <laughs> Money makes the world go round. We live in a world where paper can be worth $100 and metal can be worth a couple of pennies. But what is money really worth? In a shop, this coin is worth two pence. But what's it worth as metal? 2p coins made after 1992 are made from steel, which is cheap. But 2 pence coins made before 1992 are made from copper, which is more expensive than it's ever been. And there are still roughly 1.5 billion copper 2p's in circulation. Which gave Archie and I an idea. Could money be worth more as metal? Could this coin actually be worth 3 pence? To put this to the test, we needed to find a lot of copper coins. It's well, heavier than it looks. There's an awful lot of 2p coins. How I many are there? 20,000 20, coins. Are you going to put it all in that little suitcase? I don't know. Because I, I am not nice. carrying it, by the way. We're going to have to try and carry this together. I, I'm not carrying it. I don't do heavy lifting. Where is it? Oh, 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 keep going. Don't give up. Don't give up. Giving up for the week. Oh, we've lost another wheel. Pass that into the wheel collection. Pull, pull, pull. Just pull it across the road, and I'm, I'm just going to get a coffee. Hello, could I have a flat white, please? I'm sure you can manage it. I'm just getting a flat white. Ah, oh, well, I've been getting my lovely coffee. Josh has enlisted the help of some people. Look at this. It's going to take three grown men to lift... Careful of my, um, car. I started sorting our 20,000 coins by date, finding the ones made before 1992 that were made of copper. Archie's just pointed something out. Any coins that are not magnetic are good enough as pure copper. So I don't know why we're going through this like we're in some kind of sweatshop. <laughs> it's more on it. Just go and buy a magnet, you idiot. So that should stick. Yeah. That Yay. sticks. This one should not stick. 92 shouldn't stick. It works! In a typical example of the glamorous YouTuber lives we lead, Archie and I spent five days using magnets to divide 20,000 2p coins into those made of steel and those made of copper. Two men with piles. One with 14,925 useless steel coins and one with 5,075 useful copper coins. The value of these in 2p coins is 101 pounds and 50 pence. That's as 2p coins. But when we melt them down, guys, they're gonna be worth a lot more. We're gonna be millionaires. Before taking the steel coins back to the bank, we just had to check it was legal to melt the copper ones. Um, okay, so we've just got the email back from the lawyers. Oh, goody. Yes, Love lot, lawyer letters. Lot, Love them. Blah, 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 legal talk shenanigans. But then it says, <laughs> in summary, definitely can't melt coins in the UK. How However, we can melt coins in France. Okay, honey, we're going to France. It's 20 past six in the morning, which is too early, and we're going to Calais for the day. Ooh. This is the furnace, is it? Gloves. I think if you got really hot, that's not the best. But also, how would you tell if it was on fire? Because the pattern is on fire. That's very <laughs> confusing, isn't it? Lift. He's, he's bought some weird kind of hazmat suit, so we're doing a funny recreation of Wuhan, December 19th. Ooh, that's... Well done, everyone. We've created a bomb. That's excellent news, isn't it? Where are we going? Folkingston. No, Folkestone. F O L K E. With our car bomb headed for France, we stopped for some breakfast. I've never had breakfast in McDonald's in my life. Have you ever been to a McDonald's? I've eaten breakfast in the Ritz. I've had breakfast in the Woolsey. Right. I've breakfast in a large number of places, actually. Not here. Can I just say this is the most disgusting breakfast I've ever had the misfortune of eating? We are in France. Oh, great. In the last trip, if member of my family took like this to France, um, no, was when we liberated no, it no, in 1945. Yeah, coming. Driving on the wrong side of the road. There's an STD clinic down there. Yeah, it's actually called STI now. Let's go out into the countryside, let's breathe some country air, yeah. smoke some ciggies, melt some copper. Hello and welcome to the countryside near Calais in France. Now, because this is illegal to do in England, we really do need you to believe that we are in France. So to prove that, here we go. Bonjour, I'm in France. In these bags, we've got our 2p coins, we've got our furnace over here, we've got propane gas, ice to cool everything down, our moulds, which our metal is going to go in, or our copper, shall I say, to set, and some water in case we get thirsty. Let's connect the gas! I'm so f***ing confused now. Really need to hurry. Because this was... Hey, Josh, I, I really do need you to stop making content for a second, let's just get this done. Sorry, I, I just, I do need to really concentrate here. As the connection between me and Archie fell apart, the connection between the gas and the furnace came together. Light the propane inside the furnace with a grill lighter, heat the empty crucible. You see there, the key word I noticed was grill lighter. Yes. Yes. That is a problem. No, no. I have one here. That's not a grill lighter. I think that's fine. Josh, if it goes wrong, yeah. we're going to roll 
Yeah. Right. Roll in that puddle. Yes. What if it blows in my face? Where does the flame burn? This makes no sense. It, it burns inside, mate. Everything inside. I feel like one of those morons who gets himself burnt making online videos. <laughs> Can you turn it on? I declare the Josh Peters and Archie Manor's copper factory officially open. Oh my god. Actually. Light it, light it, light it. <laughs> fuck, 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 is your hand okay? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Holy shit! After my first bang in weeks, the smelt got to work. That's probably enough for now. Well done. We're melting copper, hopefully. Good. Now the question is how long it takes. Oh. I think that's copper soup, Josh. I think we're there. Not that bad, fear not. Right, get in there. Well done. Lift it up, lift it up. That's good. It's nothing bad's gonna happen. That's sensational. Pour it right, right over. Well done. Keep going. More copper soup. More copper soup. Right up, right up to the top. Three, two, one. Into the ice it goes. Oh my Christ! This is our first proper copper bar. In it goes. Will it come out now if you turn it upside down? I don't know. I hope so. That's the hope. Because by cooling it down, it should come right the f out. Holy oh my moly! God. Oh my god, I just a proper cup of blood! No way! No way! That, Josh, is a bar of actual copper! 100 coins done, 4,975 to go. It was all going well until we had a problem with the wrong kind of copper. We are from Gendarmerie, you know, it's uh, the police. Archie played the role of idiot abroad. Tupi. Ah. Ah, yes. Long, L'Angleterre. All pens. All pens. See, oui. But somehow convinced them that we weren't just cooking meth. So, having finished melting 101 pounds 50 worth of 2p coins, we got ready to return to London with one simple question. Can we make money by melting coins? Sorry, we've we had we to stop. Made quite no, a we lot. had to stop now, we had to stop no, now. You I'm going to drop them, it. I'm going to drop them. Well, don't drop them. Ow! Okay, so as you can see, um, we do actually have quite a lot of copper. Which is hopefully worth more than the two peas that made the copper that we melted down. To find out what our copper was worth, we visited beautiful Woolwich, home to one of London's finest scrap metal dealers. First, the scrap metal dealer had to confirm it was genuine copper. Nice, isn't it? Yeah. Our copper was weighed, and we were offered five pounds a kilogram. Good. 170 pounds. 170 pounds. 170 pounds. We'd been paid 170 pounds, meaning our coins were worth 68 pounds 50 more as copper than they were as coins. Money, money, money! <laughs> okay, Josh, I've just done the maths. Our costs, we used 20 pounds of the gas. So we're right. sending the rest of it back to the gas man. Furnace is borrowed, so we're not counting that. And it cost us 48 pounds to get to France and back. So 48, 58, 68 pounds were our cost. Yes. Then 170 was our profit. Take away 101 pounds 50, which is actually your value of the 2p coins, which means our, well, we've made a profit of 50 pence. It's like 20 rand back home. Okay, so our profit was small, but with 1,499,994,925 copper 2Ps still out there, there's an opportunity for someone. Oh, God, it's nice not hearing that sound for a just change. Let it, just, just let that bubble away. It's all we 